Hey there interwebs. Today we're going to talk about three different size turbines that you commonly find people using on Volvo Redlocks. Well, the reason I wanted to make this video was to talk about the differences between three common turbine sizes that you will find on some Volvo turbochargers. And all three of these are from turbos that are common upgrades people with red block cars will seek, uh, whether it's used on eBay or from the junkyards or wherever they might go. So let's just talk about the three different uh, actual turbines we have here. One thing I do wanna point out is that these are all size seven turbines. Uh, I just want to show you what that means. So when you're looking at this hot side of the turbo, you're looking for the number at the end of this string of numbers here. This is a seven, this is a seven, all three of them are sevens. The reason I point that out is because not every turbine that fits a TD-04 HL uh, size is necessarily a size seven. There are some smaller ones out there that are size sixes and they are about the same size as the turbine that comes on the TD-04H-13C. Now that 13C is what many of the red block cars have. There are others, uh, but that's a common one that a lot of people use as their starting point for modification. So we'll use that as our reference. So all three of these are a larger size. They're a seven, uh, great. So which one do you want? Well. The main difference between these is the orientation of the exhaust outlet and the overall diameter of that. So I'm going to start on the left. This one is the angled flange. Then I'll show you the middle one is a straight flange. And then the one on the far right, that is the conical flange. So real quick, if I get up high here, you'll notice that if I square this up kind of with the actual place where it mounts to the exhaust manifold, you'll notice that the exhaust flange is sort of curved. It sort of curves away from it. It doesn't come straight out from it. Uh, you'll notice that this side on the right is a little bit longer than this side on the left. And what this does on a red block is it actually takes this shape and it kind of pulls it towards, pulls the downpipe towards the engine block. And so that's somewhat suboptimal uh, in terms of clearance and, and fitment and fabricating a downpipe and things like that. This is the largest size opening, you'll notice, but it is not necessarily the easiest one to work with. Uh, we go to the middle here. This is a full turbocharger with the compressor and the CHRA attached, uh, but the only thing we're really talking about is the, the turbine itself. So this is the straight flange. Uh, you'll notice that this one, as its name suggests, comes straight out from the body of the turbine. So it's perpendicular perfectly to this actual flange right here that mounts to the exhaust manifold. And that makes it easier in terms of fabricating a downpipe. Uh, if you wanted to get one of these or able to get one from a junkyard, then you would want to go ahead and take the downpipe as well, because you can cut off that downpipe, which matches perfectly up to this, obviously, because it was on the car. And then you can have some custom, you know, exhaust work done to mate that downpipe up to the OEM downpipe that you have or just have a full custom downpipe made because having a, an exhaust shop make you a downpipe with a flange that mates up to this um, isn't gonna be as easy if, if you're not providing the actual downpipe itself. So that would be my recommendation if you go this route. The last one, this is your conical flange and this is your smallest of the three. And this one also does come out at a straight angle from the, the actual flange here. Uh, and so that's good. And this is the easiest to install because this one uses the exact same mounting shape and size as the stock turbos like the 13C. So if you've got a you know 740 turbo or 940 turbo that came with a 13C, this will bolt right up. Now there's more work to be done uh, than just the turbine mounting. Uh, but the point I'm making is you would not necessarily need a custom downpipe unless you just wanted to make one of a larger diameter. The important thing here is that you can focus on all the other customization it takes to upgrade to a larger turbo, uh, but the exhaust part should be very straightforward. Uh, because it is the smallest one, it doesn't flow as much, but uh, that's just something to keep in mind. If you're looking for ease of installation, 
versus flow. Maybe you're not looking to run crazy high boost, uh, whatever your plan is. Uh, I went ahead and measured these off camera. The diameter of the exhaust outlet um, is right at three inches on this angled flange. And then on the straight flange, it was about two and three quarter inches. And then on the conical, it was about two and a quarter to maybe two and three eighths inches. So that's it. Um, that's the main differences. Uh, I can say with a high degree of certainty that every one of these came from either a 16T or a 15G. Um, in fact, I believe the one on the far right came from a 15G from an 850 series uh, turbo. I wanna say it was, I don't remember exactly what year, but depending on what year you get will dictate what type of flange you get. Uh, the straight flange here in the middle this came from an S70 T5, uh, and this is a 16T turbo with the straight flange, and then the angled flange came from an early 2000s S60 T5. The angled flanges are probably gonna be the easiest to find in a junkyard, just because those cars are newer. Um, they made a lot of them, right? There's a, there's a lot of cars, the S60s, I think even the uh, some of the, the V70s from that era. Anything with a T5, in that early 2000s probably will have an angled flange. Um, my personal favorite is probably the straight flange. I think it's a good Goldilocks of not having to worry about the you know crazy custom fabrication of using the angled flange, uh, but you can still make it work if you've got that section of downpipe, you can make it work even more easily. Uh, the conical flange is doable. My understanding, I haven't installed one yet, uh, but my understanding is that that is still going to be a good bit more flow than your 13C turbo, but you are gonna be somewhat limited in terms of your flow just because of that smaller outlet. So it just depends on what you're after. Um, you know, everything's a compromise. Gotta weigh your pros and your cons and pick one of these that works for you. I will say I do know someone who has made the angled flange work. It is possible, uh, but ultimately that's up to you and how much work you wanna do and what you want your build to look like. So. I hope that was helpful. Uh, again, if you're looking for one of these, just make sure it's from a TDO4HL series and make sure that you get the size seven turbine. Uh, if you end up getting the size six turbine, it won't really be any upgrade in flow over the one that came on the 13C. So uh, I hope that you found this helpful. Thanks so much for watching.